Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create products and set up a product page in Drupal. So these are some of the products that I have. I've already created them and I will show you how to create one yourself and how to manipulate some of the aspects of the product type. Okay, so we're going to go to Commerce. products, add a product, we're going to give our product a title and give it an image. Okay, so I already have my product information saved in a file. Here's its title. And now for its image. All right, let's give it some alt text. And then click save and add variations. So we're going to add a variation. Here's the skew. And the price. And click save. And there you have it. You've created a product. So now we're going to go to product, Commerce Products and take a look. We have our product here and there it is. Okay, so we've seen our products. They're listed here. And now I'm going to show you how to create a product page. So we're going to go to Structure, Views, and add a new view. We're going to give it a name of Products for Show Product of type all. Then we're going to create a page and it's going to display a grid of product. items to display. I'm going to switch that to 20 just in case I have 20 products. And I'm going to uncheck use a pager and save and edit. Okay, this is our products page. So notice there's um, it's a four column format. I'm going to switch that to two columns because in some mobile devices, four columns can actually look a little funny. But I would try it out and see. So number of columns, I'm going to switch that to two. And choose apply. and then save. And there we have it. Our two column format. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our products page. That's our site name slash products. 
and now you should be able to see your products listed on the page. Okay, so we're going to go to Commerce, Configuration, and I'm going to show you some of those aspects I was talking about, um, the product aspects, um, some of the fields and how they look. So we're in Product Type, and now we're going to go to Edit, and then click on Manage Fields just to take a look. There is the body field that we have, but now we're going to click on Manage Display and see how it's displayed. So the title field has a label that's hidden. The body field has a label that's hidden. And the variations field has a label that's hidden. The title format is plain text, the body is default, and the variations is Add to Cart Form. All right, so now going back to Commerce, choosing Configuration, and now we're going to click on Product Variation Types and Edit. And going to Manage Fields, we're going to notice that there are no fields. Um, manage Display, and here we have List Price has a label that's above, its format is set to default, price has a label that's above, and its format is set to default, and product has a label above, and its format is set to label. And link to referenced entity. So now we're going back to our products page. And again, this is what it looks like.